Icera Trail, a 70 mile adventure from Crescent Meadow to Whitney Portal. After dropping off the rental car, we walk over to the Visalia Transit Center where we made a reservation on the Sequoia Shuttle. The ride up to the National Park takes about 2 hours. Within the park, we use the park shuttles to get around. At the Lodgepole Visitor Center, we pick up our wilderness permit. That's me. That mountain range is the Great Western Divide, we'll be crossing it soon. These guys are the reason we have to bring bear-proof canisters. The weather up here can be unpredictable, even during the summer. The High Sierra Camp is a tent hotel and has been around since 1934. They only serve guests and you need a reservation. I have hiked the High Sierra Trail four times from start to finish and I use pictures from all those trips throughout this film. The first time I went with Daniel, you'll see him usually wearing a green shirt, the other three times I hiked it solo. The trip with Daniel was also our first backpacking trip into the mountains and we brought way too much stuff. Our packs weighed about 65 pounds each.
you'll find plenty of water along this trail and carrying a lot in your pack is not necessary, with the exception of Mount Whitney. The Hamilton Lakes are a very special place. They're nested between majestic mountain peaks. Spots to camp are limited. You're only allowed to stay one night and you cannot have a campfire. Kawiya Gap, our first pass. The next three miles are an easy downhill stroll along the Big Arroyo. From the Big Arroyo Junction we go up over the Chacupa Plateau. There are two different ways to go down to the Kern River Valley. A slightly shorter way, you save about a third of a mile, and the other way that gets you to Moraine Lake. The fork is about 4.6 miles from the Big Arroyo Junction. Both trails are great, but if you have never been to Moraine Lake, definitely go to the ride at the fork. Sky Parlor Meadow, another gem along the trail. 
One of the great things about this trail is, it has everything the Sierra has to offer. Amazing vistas, besides the largest, we also walk among the oldest trees in the world. Some of the bristle cones are thousands of years old. We hike from the lower laying forests to all the way, way above the tree line. From here you'll switch back down to the Kern River. You made it halfway to Whitney Portal. The Kern River Hot Springs will make you sleep like a baby or revitalize you to keep going back up the hill. This is a snow plant and it has no chlorophyll, therefore it doesn't do photosynthesis. It steals the sugar actually from the fungal network in the soil. From this point on, no more bear boxes, fires or burying waste. Timberline Lake is close to camping. Here we fill up our water bottles, because once you get into the switchbacks, you won't find water until you get back down from the summit. We leave our packs at the trail junction. We only carry the essentials like water, snacks and weather appropriate clothing. Mount Whitney is the tallest mountain in the lower 48. It stands at 14,505 feet.
Are we? Is it rolling? Yeah. How are you doing? Oh uh, well, it's about like 35 degrees. Um, it's freezing. It's not so great right now. Uh, Welly told us that we we're gonna spend a full day's break at the hot springs, but according to his calculations, now that that is impossible to do because he did not plan this trip properly. <laughs> um, now I know how Welly plans his trips. So now I know what it's gonna be like. So now that I know how, now that I know what the deal is, now I'm not gonna do this something like this again. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Make it look like this tree is blasted in, like I'm riding it. Yeah. There will be extra information after the credits. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.